Hey everybody, welcome back to another Oxygen tutorial video. My name is Jonathan, and today what I'm gonna do is show you how to use the link wrapper element to create a more interesting button. So what you see on the screen here is two different examples of a button that is built using a link wrapper. Whenever I hover over this first one, you can see the whole button changes to be that lighter red color, and our icon has a nice little transition there. On the second one down here, it's pretty similar, except there's just a box shadow effect on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to build both of those and we'll go ahead and get started by moving into the oxygen editor here. So I have a section right now that just contains a heading element with some margin underneath it. And I'm gonna go to add, and then under links, click on link wrapper. Now this is basically just a div element with the link function already connected to it. So you can convert an existing div to a link wrapper just by clicking the little link icon. But this is set up so that it has the link function for you right out of the box, which is perfect for creating kind of a more custom button like we're gonna do. As always, it's a good idea to go ahead and take advantage of the classes function in Oxygen before you start designing this. So what I'm gonna do is click on the ID here and give this button a class, something like fancy button, something to that effect. I'm gonna leave the width blank at the moment, but I am gonna go ahead and set a background color for this main link wrapper, which is effectively our main div for this button. I'm gonna use the same red that's in this logo here in our example site. So I'll go ahead and pull out the hex color, which I've already done. It's this fire brick red here, so I'll paste that background color in. And then I'd like to go ahead and set that as a global color because I'm gonna use that later. So I'll just call this fire red. And now our link wrapper has that red as our background color. In the example earlier, the call to action was basically book now. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add in an icon element and that's going to have our little calendar icon. We'll change this color to be white. And then you can just search here for a calendar. So I just use this one here. I'm gonna decrease the icon size of this calendar significantly to like 30 pixels. And then I wanna add some padding around the icon. So we'll go to size and spacing. And then let's add like 15 pixels of padding and we may adjust that later, but that looks okay for now. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a text element. And then this text we're just gonna to change to book now. Of course, that's really not readable at all. So I'm gonna change the text color to white. I'm gonna bump up the font size to maybe like 20 pixels, and then I'm gonna change the typography to be uppercase. I'm gonna also change the font weight to a heavier like 700 font weight like that. And then now what I'm gonna do is actually select this main div, this link wrapper that's containing our icon and our heading here. And then I'm gonna change this to stack child elements horizontally. I'm gonna choose middle alignment and then space between. And of course our link wrapper doesn't have any extra width to it, so there's not gonna be anything you can really do with these alignment options here. So we're gonna define the width to something like 350 pixels like that. But let's say you want this book now to be centered kind of in this section right here. That would be really hard to achieve because it's also going to move the icon. So what we're gonna do is set this back to space between. We're gonna to go to our structure pane here. I'm going to expand this first section that contains our link wrapper. And then what we're gonna do with this text element is actually wrap it with the div. So click on the text, choose the little hamburger menu and click wrap with div. And then instead of defining a width for this div, all we're gonna do is go to advanced, layout and scroll down to the bottom and then in flex grow, just pop in the number one. And that's gonna set the div to take up all of the available space. So now we can center that text really easily by just going to primary and then horizontal item alignment, just choose center. We're also gonna wrap this icon in a div over here as well. So go ahead and click the icon and do the same thing. Choose wrap with div. There's really no change there, but what we're gonna do is set the other background color on the actual div itself instead of the icon. And then there's a tool that I like to use to get other color variations that are similar to the one you're working with. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this red hex color. The website is called Palaton and I just basically pop in the hex color and it gives you a couple other variants of that color. I'm just gonna use this one here that's a bit more opaque. We'll just pop that in as the background color, and then we can set this as brighter red. And then what we're gonna do, like you saw in the demo, is make this other deeper red become the brighter red whenever we hover, and then also give that little calendar icon a flip, kind of 360 effect. So go ahead and click on your link wrapper element, and what we're gonna do is go to the state option here, change that to hover, and then the background color, we're just going to change to our hover brighter red like that. So now if I go back to the original state, whenever I hover, it changes the background color, but the change happens kind of abruptly, so we can just add a simple transition timing effect. So just make sure you are in the original state, go to advanced, effects, transition, transition duration, and then timing function, you can just use ease in, out, like that. 
And so now whenever I hover over it, the background color takes a little bit more time to change, which makes a more pleasant transition. I'm also gonna go ahead and go back a step to the border section, and I'm gonna set the border radius to like 15 pixels. You'll notice it doesn't apply to the div that has the icon in it, so you just need to go to that div, go to Advanced Borders, and then click Edit Individual Radii, and then the top left and bottom left you can set to 15 pixels, and now your button has those rounded edges. So there's our Book Now button with the background color that changes on Hover, and then in order to add that transition effect to the icon where it flips over, we're gonna do that towards the end of this video, so stick around for just a second. So now what I'm gonna do is take this link wrapper and I'm just gonna duplicate it and then expand this section down here and pop that in. Of course, I'm gonna put the heading on top of this link wrapper here. And before we start making adjustments, we're gonna to wanna to edit this class that we have. So instead of restyling everything that we've just done, we can add like fancy hyphen button hyphen blue, something to that effect. So I'm gonna add another class like that. And then now we can set the background color of this to be the Facebook blue. So I have that in this color picker tool here as well. So we'll go ahead and set the background color of this link wrapper to that blue. Of course, the other div there, we'll probably wanna use that opaque blue. So I'm just gonna take this color, go back over here to Palaton, pop that in, and then we could just use like this more opaque blue like this one. So I'll expand the link wrapper, choose the first div and set the background color to that more opaque blue like that. And then we'll change the hover effect on the link wrapper itself. So go to state, hover, and background color. So now the whole button's gonna become that more opaque blue. And we'll go back to the original state and just take a look at that. Now, of course, we wanna change the icon itself to be the Facebook F like that. And then I'm gonna change the link text to just be Facebook. The other thing we had in the example from earlier is a box shadow. So I'm gonna click link wrapper, go to the state option and choose hover. Go to advanced effects, box shadow, and then I usually just use black with an opacity of like 25%. And then we'll go 0, 10, 20, 0 like that. Now if we go back, we can see there's that nice opaque color transition along with a box shadow that kind of lifts the button off the page. So there's an easy way to create a more interesting button that has an icon and some different background colors. And then like you saw earlier, I'm also gonna show you how to create a little spin effect on the icon so it flips 360 to give a little animation to the buttons as well. So we'll do that with our Book Now button here. So you're gonna to wanna to basically get two things. Click on this link wrapper and then under the class option, go back to the ID. You're gonna need this link and this is gonna be unique to you so yours won't be link 197 like that. It'll be a little bit different. And then you also need that same ID for the icon itself. What we're gonna do is go to Manage, style sheets, click on add style sheet and you can just type custom CSS like that. And now I'm gonna go copy the ID of the link wrapper, which is this right here, link 1917. And for the moment, I'm just gonna paste them in. And then we're gonna get the ID of the icon. And all we need to do is go like this. Put the little pound sign in front of both the link ID and the fancy icon ID. And then we need to pop the word hover in like that. So we are basically saying on link hover, we're gonna modify the icon itself. So open your curly bracket like that. We're gonna go transform, rotate 360 degrees, transition timing function is ease in out, and then transition duration. We'll use 0 0.5 for effectively half a second and then just close your curly braces like that. And now when we hover over it, you can see our button has that nice flip effect. Let's go ahead and save and then take a look at this on the front end so you can see how it works. So when I hover over this button, it doesn't matter whether I hover over the icon or over the actual text, the icon does flip over like that. So again, that's a nice way to create a more interesting button with multiple background colors, an icon that has some animation to it, and in the case down here, you have that hover box shadow. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a future video.